Alright guys, welcome to Club Dimar. This is quick tour of Club Dimar. I'm on the I'm on the K7 right now, end of K7. This is actually new. This is uh, they extended this K and then widen it. Look at it. It's almost like a bloody runway, man. So wide. So what you see right here is all uh, the brand new uh, electrical box for their new. Uh, for the new docks, some of them has not been installed yet. And what you see there, abandoned yachts. It used to be on K3 over there. It used to be our neighbor, and now it's been transferred here on the on the new dock. What you, what you see in the distance, that's a jeep basis boat. That's a Kuru, and then on the starboard side of that, that you cannot see is uh, is the the support vessel is uh, another big boat it's called uh, Abiona so I'm gonna tour you all the way to the other side so stay with me and then I will show you the that boat I'm gonna go there on K, K3 and then I'm gonna show you the construction going on uh, in um, Club Dimar at the same time all right so let's go this is the dock right there man this is the K7, it's longer now. It used to be a lot shorter and very narrow. Now it's nice and wide, very wide now, guys. But it's pretty empty. When we arrived here the other day, last week, it's quite a lot of yachts. But uh, now it's pretty empty. That finger duct right there, that's brand new, new. Nice and wide, man. Smaller yachts on my left side. This one right there. That's a pit ship. I'm not quite sure how big the thing is. It's quite big. It's called Tango. And then uh, it's been confiscated since the war in Ukraine started. Confiscated by uh, a Spanish, uh, Spanish government. And this one. Yeah, it's been on the dock for a very long time now. And this is us, the Lady Rose. And that chick there, she's our stewardess. You know her. Oh, you're videoing. Hello, guys. Say hello to the audience. <laughs> I'm just taking them for a ride around, around, around Club de Mar. Cheers. Some bigger sailing boats here, this side. But there's a nice sailing boat over there. It's a world famous uh, Endeavor. I think it's a J boat. There's another nice, nice, very sexy sailboat there. There's Endeavor right here, guys. That's a very famous boat, sailboat. Yeah. All right, guys, have a look at the stern of a Biona. They have a helicopter pad, but there's no chopper at the moment. Big tenders. This is where they put all the toys rather than on the mothership. You can only imagine what type of uh, what type of uh, toys they have on this boat. Yeah. I'll take you around here. Yeah, man. Abiona, it's built by Damin Yachts. And then right here this is the big mama. That is a uh, Kuru, check out the paint job, a size boat like this with a paint job like that, it's crazy, same as the tin, the, the same as this uh, support vessel, Woo. very shiny, I think it's flag blue, same color as us, same color as Lady Rose, flag blue, you think, yeah, check out that man, 
big one. Check out that one though. The bow. Check out the bow of the Kuru. Right? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, apparently, you know the figurehead in the front? It's the replica of uh, Mr. Bezos' uh, girlfriend. So that's crazy, man. Look like uh, been carved on solid wood. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully Mr. Bezos doesn't break up with his girlfriend. Because he's going to end up changing the whole uh, figurehead. And that's big. <laughs> that's big. It's crazy. It's like uh, tattooing uh, your girlfriend's name on your body and then you end up breaking up with her you don't know what to do <laughs> but you know Mr. Bezos got plenty of money to unmount that figurehead alright guys anyway I hope you enjoy the little tour and then uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it and bye for now guys